Hey everyone, welcome back again to my another video. So after a long time, I just came with another voiceover video, step-by-step -step tutorial. So this is gonna be very exciting and also I'm very much nervous. Okay, so this is gonna be the f our illustrations at the end result. So we're gonna build everything in scratch. So that's why I don't have any idea but I have the concept in my mind and the color scheme and everything just something in my mind I don't know how much I can apply into the real work. Yep, let's get started and let's have the journey Okay, as you can see I just already made a 1080p document and okay, let me show you how you can make this Let's go to file new and let's make this uh, web large as you can see at the preset or you can find at the web and then select the web large okay as we're not printing so let's keep the screen uh, 72p and rgb as we can we are using for uh, screen right okay let's create it okay let, once we are done our document so let's delete the previous one let's make it okay and now let's make the landscape at the first which is ground by selecting rectangle tool and then we're gonna make a little bit of roughly mount roughly landscape at the far so it will give us pretty much a good dynamic okay if you heard some noise of the mouse I'm really sorry for that okay now let's push back what and we're done that's it the landscape okay uh, now we're gonna make a bit of the AG mountain kind of give a fantasy uh, vibe or scheme for that and now let's control shift and open bracket whatever and now once I push back what okay how we can push it back so right click once I select the object right click arrange then as you can see the shortcut also remember the shortcut let's move to the backward send it back okay and now it's all the way layer back and for now uh, we will go for pen tool and we can create a roughly something you know mysterical thing uh, let's make it some kind of building. I don't know. All right. Now we got a bit of mysterical, right? Okay, now let's push back everything. And um, this is our main concept. Okay, whether we can keep this or remove this, we will decide it later. Let's move it down a bit. And let's make it small so we can give a more white space to our artboard. And for now, we're gonna go for select the color. Now let's mix. Okay, now let's make make the random boxes and just all the way down. Okay. And for now, we can take the ground color. It's gonna be all the way blue, darkish blue, or yeah, darkish blue. Okay, yeah, this one is fine. And now select this one, select that parents one this is gonna be our parents one okay and now let's make it here okay this is gonna be our down one uh, for the color of the ground and now let's select for the sky So here is the basic color we got right now and let's make it the sky at the beginning 
and let's select this one. Uh, let's make it a gradient. Let's select this one. Let's make another one. Let's select this one. Let's make another one. Let's select this one. Let's make another one. Let's select this one. Okay. Um. Yep. We're pretty much. Okay. It's kind of tall, as in my imagination. So we're gonna make it a uh, more. We will give a slightly more contest on it. So let's uh, click on it and let's select the HSB and let's all the way make and let's bring the contest too much and here we're gonna do the same we're gonna keep an eye on the gradient okay so we have done our gradient and now we're gonna let's uh, <laughs> make the sky uh, I think we can delete this one Oops, we can delete this one. Nope, we have to give this everything. And now let's make it darker. Okay, now we can adjust it from here a bit so we won't have any problem. Alright, so our color is done. It's pretty much <laughs> given a good vibe. And now, uh, for the ground, let's select this one, whatever you have, whatever you choose. And for now, we're gonna give a bit more details on the ground. So let's make it uh, roughly details right now for... So here is the basic of the ground. So we're gonna go for again for the gradient. Let's make the gradient for it. And I think we have to delete this. This one. So you have to create three gradient. So I love to work with three gradient. And let's select the first one. Let's select the middle. Not the middle. <laughs> okay. And now let's the select the last one. All right, and now let's select the gradient. Let's see, and now let's select the middle layer. So we, we have to see the middle layer, it should be visible, right? Okay, let's select the middle layer and let's make the gradient and let's give the different colors. So, as you can see, uh, there's we could say we could tell that there is a, another layer. Uh, let's reverse this see how it works so let's experiment okay it's not work as I thought it works fine now select the first one and let's make it hmm. okay I think it's not gonna work right away and for that we're gonna make this layer a bit more interesting A little bit of uh, highlight one and let's select this boot layer let's make let's make it small and select the far away one and let's select the ground gradient and let's make it Alright, we, we have pretty much clean landscape right now. And what about the far away? Okay, let's go. Select this far away one. And let's make it for the gradient. Let's see, we're gonna experience, uh, experiment also this one. And for now here, we're gonna do the same thing. Okay. And for now, this thing, the mystical thing, I don't know what I could, what I should call it. Let's make it them group, and let's select the gradient of the sky. Let's get more cool vibe. All right, it's it's not that good. Okay, now let's select. 
this layers um, yep this one and this one okay let's make it all the way up and let's the reduce the opacity to zero see how <laughs> we get a cloudy scheme okay it's far far a lot of better And for this one, we will do the same thing. Let's see. All right. So we did it. And for this one, I think we need to go for more darker. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So at the it's kind of really interesting but it's boring right so let's make it more interesting let's select the let's make it planet by selecting ellipsil and let's put a gradient we're gonna choose the background gradient and we're gonna select the gradient and let's select the all the gradient color also this one all right so we gonna we got a very completely blank gradient and now let's select the what is called gradient one and let's make it uh, I think we have to reverse this and now let's reduce the gradient slider to all the way back so we will have pretty much edge cutting and let's select this one and let's make it all the way zero and now let's put everything behind and let's bring forward one step okay so now let's select the sky layer and let's copy ctrl c and place it over the layer let's go ctrl f and let's bring one step forward and let's uh, reduce the opacity let's play, play with the opacity zero and let's make it 50% uh, alright Okay, so we got a smooth background and mysterical town. No, monolith, whatever you said. Okay, and let's make a bit of adjustment. I think we have to need a. Okay, so we are done pretty much. And let's select everything. Let's make it group. Let's see, we can delete this one, we don't need it. And now let's select Rectangle Tool. And let's select the our artwork. Right click and let's make the click on us. Okay guys, so this is the final result. So that's it, that's for today. Um, it's kind of closer to my imagination, but still I couldn't make it. And that's 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 the end result now. So everything I just made it's completed from scratch. I don't have any plans, so process might be a rough, not that much good. But still I appreciate for watching for this long and I hope you really enjoy this. And if you really did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and also don't forget to subscribe if you wanna do wanna be support. And also if you need a landscape illustration, just reach me at create.xyz or there are a lot of links in the below so you can feel free to reach me on those links.